The day she found out she was free was a day she would never forget. My name is India and today we are going to meet a woman who escaped one of humanity's greatest atrocities, the Holocaust. Here in Israel, we came to visit a woman named Trudy Asher. An 86-year-old Holocaust survivor. And she is here to tell her story. I was born in a small town called Lach-Kepel in Holland, in the Until the Nazis invaded the Netherlands. At that time, all Jews were required to have a J put on their IDs, and Trudy was forced to go to a Jewish school separate from the other kids. Everything had changed. Her father never returned. From then on, Trudy and her family spent their lives escaping the Nazis. They ran from house to house, hiding. Miraculously, Trudy and her mother were not taken by the Nazi soldier. But her mother was not so fortunate the next time. This man knew the real identity of Trudy's mother since he had known her from before the war. Despite getting a second chance, the Nazis caught Trudy's mother soon after. She went to Auschwitz and was sent straight to a gas chamber. Trudy lived life in hiding for three years. But then the day came, the day it all ended. Trudy escaped what so many others could not. And after being free, Trudy eventually moved to Israel. Meeting Trudy has been one of the greatest honors of my life, especially since it is my first time meeting a Holocaust survivor. As you look at her, you can see the story her eyes tell. Surviving here to end up here. There are less than 180,000 Holocaust survivors left in the world today and that number is quickly declining. That is why we must share stories like Trudy's, so that we will never forget or repeat the Holocaust. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.